as the LGD will meet their opponents in the semi-final. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome C-Deck Gaming and LGD. And as the teams enter the arena. LGD smoking up now. They see Gardner as well as aggressive farming now. They can't kill aggressive. He's too close on the tree line, so unless they get that instant fiend script, it's not possible. Oh. They can he just use Doppelganger. They can actually get the control. Fiend script worth it at this point, and PL's gonna go down. Ouch. That is really unfortunate. Radiance and you saw him pinging the tree, he was like, guys, guys, I used Doppelganger up here. Why am I down here? <laughs> of course, a little bit of bad RNG there. And and this is perfect for LGD because they can just slip themselves in the yeah. Roche pit. If they get a buyback from buy the back. PL, then it's still worth it for LGD. It's burning a lot of money on the PL to do it's this. It's too late. They're going to let them have it. Sigil comes in. Well, that's going to get take, cleared up pretty early. Oh, oh, he actually caught back. They're oh, looking for it. The kill on the Dazzle already in the back. He's got three men up on the hill. They can't get back down. Silas trapped him. Maybe trying to finish up Roshan. The Snowball comes in. They're all trying to fight the Curse and LGD. They're playing King of the Hill, but they are not the Kings. Garner's dropping the Nova. It's also going to Trying to do his burn off, and they're actually quite fighting this one. Maybe it's winning Sila, however, trapped in the wall. He is hitting himself to death right now on the hill. Down he goes, maybe looking for an opening on Wyvern, but then he's actually embraced himself up. There's there. He lands up. The Ego Simon will trigger aggressive. Does he have enough to finish this job? Back to the world of living, maybe looking for the kill on Wyvern. Can't do it on aggressive. The answer is yes. Shadow Fiend dropping quickly and down for the count. What a back by the Darkseer, completely catching out. GD's aura on maybe could just completely change these fights and well maybe aggressively walking up the PL illusions are still around. Oh and not again aggressive. He's just and he's caught they know in it's the real. doppelganger. And yeah, they do. They move over and attack. The Menasar will trigger as well. Maybe lining up the ulti. She can try to slow this one down. The Shadow Grave a little bit premature on the Shadow Fiend. Not to mention the Eclipse basically being blown. Fiend's Grip is still available here. And MMY going to try and isolate himself. Garda, Walrus Punch. He's trying to go for two different targets. And now you've got that curse over on Sila. But the Nova coming in from the Phoenix. MMY is dropping low. But Sila, the Glade bounces again. The Shadow Grave is keeping MMY alive. He's 10 six charges. He'll survive through this one. Still no casualties at war. And they're trying to escape. Now they're back. Back in again. The double stun. It's only on Sila, however. They managed to get one away. And Sila giving life through that flame. Sila is going to just keep on fighting him. They're going to get him down. Finally, they bring him down. But the attack is not enough to kill off the Darks here. You're still got aggressive on the front line. And living on 46 life. How is C Deck remaining alive? I cannot believe how manly these players are. Just Sila and aggressive. Laying into the enemy team with 50 Radiant's health, I guess they have no alternative, right? You're not getting out with that low health. Wow, that almost went wrong for C-Deck. They thought someone, they're like, okay, Luna's dead. Wait, who's taking care of Luna? Okay, none of us is taking care of Luna. <laughs> and they finally do target Radiant's her down with the Dragon Slave. And this is going to be one, if not two lanes of barracks. The only buyback on LGD is the Phoenix. And this is the price you pay attack. when you pop two major ultimates prematurely. They use the Requiem, they use the Eclipse, they use the Shadow Fiend BKB. And C-Deck were just like, great. Let's just back out, Radiance reset for a moment, surge in, key heroes, Radiance and get the job done. This game is almost over in one fell swoop here. And C-Deck, what a fight. What an amazing fight for them. They take LGD is going for the Hallelujah play. They've managed to possess one of the C-Deck melee creeps to have a bit of a look out. They're actually thinking that Roshan's being done. Now, maybe he's the only one visible inside the lane. LGD could bait this one out. They leave the melee creep inside the pit where Roshan is currently alive. I thought they were going to throw him up towards the ancient area. Uh, but instead, they'll just use him to tank against Roshan. But in comes the sigil. Uh, C deck well aware. They start off with the weave, so LGD going to get some good armor as Yao. Oh, that's a good sun ray. Actually, able to scout out the fact that Darkseer is coming behind, canceling the blink. And where is that opening? Yao still in position for the Nova. And where is that position? They get the curse over on maybe, but Shadowfiend already has the Aegis. The Immortal and Shiki, he's trapped inside the pit. Sila, the extra damage that came out from Lena, but Shiki, he's still going to drop. The Embrace is there for the Nova. Over. The back shall wait again up on the hillside. He has a shallow grave himself. Fiends will come down and he comes your snowball. They're gonna have extra help aggressive. He's arrived and he's gonna be bringing down LGD. Maybe trapped in the river. He's gonna be so sweat and now dead. The Aegis Demon will bring him back up, but Yao can't keep him alive. Guy so low on life. And we've got dragon battles while maybe Radiance caught inside the river. No BKB, no mech. The Yules on the lead trying to buy his face, but GG! C Deck will take game number one up against the team, which everyone was calling the favorites, and the team which has refused to forfeit a, se a series to C-Deck. Game one goes the way of C-Deck.
It's all the small plays that just add up. C deck are incredibly good at team fighting. All of their spell usage, how crisp their combos are. You can tell how good communication they have with how they layer and combo their spells. And they're going to loop in behind. Nope, they're going to decide to go straight through the tree line. And the blink fire strike. Sala comes in. And the man of the global silence, however, allows Shiki to disengage once again. And Sala in real trouble. It's a clock up inside the tree line. He will bring down the animation. And stun over on maybe the backpack into a three man with the wall as well. LGD is a disaster under the tier one tower. Maybe it's been brought down by Q, the epicenter from Yao. He comes back in again. But who's he really going to get? The silencer is tanking through most of it. The sentry ward will be dropped. Then in comes Shiki. He wants Yao down. He's going to. Get him. A triple kill actually for aggressive while MM1 out of the T1 tower trying to fight up against aggressive. It's gonna be an ultra kill. There's no real way to escape from this one. Lance back off called out. There it is! An ultra kill for C Deck, wiping LGD and only costing a silencer to do it. Yao didn't throw away the epicenter. But at the same time, all he got in return for it was a slight pick off on Silence. And they do find aggressive inside the jungle. No doppelganger available, but 17 wand charges will allow him to turn the fire strike from Yao the back back in. And in comes Ember Spirit, still looking for that pick off over on PL. He might try and search him away, but while he's locked inside the series, Chase can't do anything. Garda with the slave. He picks up Yao. He's a double stun. Shiki as well. He's from the trees. The fire strike out, but again, Global Silence back up again with the tombstone. It's going to be a hard run out of here. Shiki behind him, and why? They're going to find the pick up once again. C deck, they did lose their PL. Will maybe get out of here. He throws down the spirit, but Storm Spirit Soros going as well. The brothers again try and bass each other down. Q's behind. No silence for four more seconds. And the back, back up to the wall. You might have the storm going down low. The attempt to TP unsuccessful. It's four heroes for LGD down again. C deck, what a storm. What a play. What a team. They would have still committed for the kill, and it could have ended even worse. Is it really going to be better? I'm looking there. at Xiao Oi walking into aggressive and instantly getting lands. The tombstone will drop from MMY, but they won't care. Back, back into another wall. You might get a searing chain, but you've lost the rest of your team. Laguna Blade killing up MMY. Xe into the trees. They're waiting for something. What, a mana void to kill up that Darkseer? He'll still tank the damage, Sile. That's level two. Blinking forward. Now he's got a chance. Bring him down, but welcome back to the fight, Shiki. Going after Sile. It's the fresh Orchid off the pack. And M Maybe you can spirit yourself down, but the mana is still there for Storm Spirit jumping in deep in lane. You got Ember as well as uh, Anti Mage trying to push out this top lane. Creeps give it to keep the pressure on, but in the meantime, PL just throws out Lancers. He'll survive and will BT down and join the rest of his team. Maybe Searing Chains over on aggressive, but he needs to BT back to base because C deck never arrived. Shiki just, in fact, just jumps inside the base, pops the remnant. Now he sees MMY, but doesn't care. He's still got the Ego C model, the gem, the boots, so there's no place for the for the to hide. In fact, Xiao! The small jump avoids the Burrow Strike. It was only a micro jump, but even Xiao Wade, he's starting to peel illusions at the back end of the play. They all get over on maybe. And C Deck, they can't even be contested because LGD cannot cast an ability. Not to mention, Global Silence is still up for C Deck and all these illusions. They're actually burning off Silo. They have to clean this up. Finally, Aggress is going to get Frostbit, but pops out. And there's your bait. The nice start from Yao, but the better one from the leader. You've already lost the atmosphere with Laguna. There pops your SK. Three down. It's about to be four. They're even going to pick the Courier. Rares for all the viewers at home if they can get it, and in fact they will. There goes Q, takes out the courier, and LGD, they are trying to drink the well dry as they are stuck at base with no real hope of even coming out to C deck. This all three heroes have no buyback. The most perfectly executed game of the tournament, maybe barring the 16 0 from Cloud9 in the group stages over IG. I cannot believe how well c are playing this against one of the best teams in the world. And they're going more, they're going up the Silencer. You may as well, after any mate, you may as well pop the Global Silence back and back in. This is over. They have absolutely been crushed. GG, LGD, they lose. They lost to an overly impressive c -deck. A flawless performance by the team that has come the hardest road to get through the winner's bracket. Hoi. And just look at LGD's expressions, they can't believe it either. They're like, what just happened? I don't know. I, <laughs> I really don't know. I, I feel like I've been like perma-bashed. If c play okay. like this going forward, they have got to be the favorites to win this whole thing. Like this, this kind of play, I feel like I haven't seen out of any other team in a best of three so far. Like both games, they are so extremely good. I think the, a big key to their success is mentioned, the Darkseer of XZ, I think an absolute hero you have to watch out for. But then 
The question is, if you give it aggressive as gyro, there's a lot of problems to there's, deal with for the up and coming up. There's opponent. so many questions out there. C deck, it's not as even though they're flowing under the radar. They've went through the top of the groups. They come through and they're in the winner's bracket final. C deck, terrific performance. Let's get the thoughts of the analysts.